All right, reproduction and heredity. Let's look at what we got to know. All right, recessive and dominant traits. Uh, this will be on the test almost for sure. Uh, Mend Mendel's pea plants. So if you're not familiar with those, almost for sure you uh, studied them in high school biology. Uh, and that's it's just a basic two by two quadrant uh, looking at what happens with recessive and dominant traits in pea plants, which is could be like they're short or they're tall. Uh, and what happens is that you get a three to one ratio of uh, dominant to recessive. Uh, what we need to know here is genes come in forms called alleles. Uh, these genes also come in pairs. If the alleles are the same, such as uh, capital T, capital T, that would be showing that you had the capital T is dominant where the lowercase t is recessive. Uh, so two capital T's would uh, show that dom that would be dominant and that is called homozygous for that gene. If alleles are different, so one big T, one small t, then it would be called heterozygous. In a heterozygote, the dominant allele may hide the expression of the recessive allele. For DNA, a molecule that carries the genetic instruction used in the growth, development, functioning, and reproduction of all living things. DNA stores biological information. The two strands of DNA form a double helix. For eukaryotes, DNA is organized into long structures called chromosomes. Eukaryotes store most of their DNA inside the cell nucleus and some of their DNA in organelles such as mitochondria. Prokaryotes, on the other hand, only store their DNA in the cytoplasm. Um, for phenotype, uh, just you're just needing to know what it means. Uh, phenotype refers to a trait's physical appearance, while genotype is the genetic makeup of a cell which determines the phenotype of that cell, organism, or individual. And then finally we have meiosis. Meiosis produces non-identical daughter cells and inserts genetic variation in organisms.